Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. Got a beautiful day out here on the courts, and this week we're going to be looking at the most important shot in tennis. Obviously, that's the serve. And specifically this week, I want to look at the four serve locations on first serves that I think are the most important. So today, that's going to be the slice out wide. And yes, I know a lot of you out there think that your slice should only be used as your second serve. I think on the deuce side, going out wide with a slice serve is a great idea as a first serve. Okay, so a couple things we got to knock off to be able to figure out how to hit this serve great as a first serve. The first is the spin, right? So we're talking about slice. So when I get a ball and I'm talking about hitting slice, as a right hander, we, we obviously want to see this ball curve from right to left. Okay, and a couple great things about that. Yes, it's to the opponent's forehand generally as a right-handed player, but you think about the idea in singles at least of opening up the tennis court, and if you guys have a really effective slice serve as your first serve, you swing that guy wide and you get this really nice looking open court. And the, the cool thing to tack on there idea-wise about why the slice can be so effective as a first serve on the deuce side is that a lot of times a guy is going to have his return position against your first serve be pretty deep, you know, because he respects the fact that you might be going flat, kind of popping that big flat serve. He's trying to give himself a little extra space against that one. And when he's farther back, it really magnifies the out wide serve because now he has more ground to cover to that ball. Okay, so we want to be working that slice out wide. How do we get a good amount of slice and still have it be categorized as a first serve? It's where we make contact on the tennis ball. All right, so you guys can see, I love to talk about the tennis ball with regards to the writing. And this is a really good way for me to figure out, hey, how, how precise do I have to be on the tennis ball to get the, the desired effect. And for a slice serve as a right-hander, when I get that ball up on the toss, I like my contact point to be slightly above the last letter on the right, okay? So you guys see that pen, the second N, I'm always trying to target, you know, just above that last letter. And yeah, I know a lot of you out there think, well, Brady, aren't I supposed to be hitting way out on the right side when I hit a slice? And the answer is no. The reason for that is that creates that really spinny ball. Yes, it's curving a lot, but it doesn't have a lot of substance. It doesn't have a lot of pop, which needs to be there on a first serve. All right, and now thirdly is target. Where on the, where on the court should I be targeting to have a very effective first serve out here you know, when I'm hitting it out wide. As you guys can see, that target is pretty much the shallowest target. And when I say shallow, I mean closest to the net on the far side of the court. Usually with my flat serve, kick serve, I'm getting the ball deeper in the box. If on an out wide serve to the deuce side, I can land it shallower. Think about your forehand angle when you're going cross court. I think as all you guys know, the shallower you hit an angle, the more into the fence you're going to run the guy. Okay, and the, the same idea kind of rings true for this slice serve out wide. If I can land it shorter in the box up there, it's going to swing my opponent farther and farther out to the right. Okay, so the slice is in effect, even though it's a first serve, I've got my focus of where I want to make contact on the ball and I have my resulting target that I think makes this first serve out there really effective. Let's go ahead and have a look at a couple. Okay, just not shallow enough. Let's try it again. All right, now that one was really nicely out wide. Still probably not as shallow as I'd like it, but you can see, good amount of pace on that ball. So the guy is still dealing with that first serve pace, and I'm swinging him out wide. So I'm getting him in an off the court position. So even though it's a slice serve, which a lot of us think of as a second serve, to me, this is a very important idea for you guys to have. It's one of the top four first serve targets I have 
is out wide on the deuce side. So make sure to go out and practice that. I think a lot of times you guys are used to hitting that slice with a little less pace. So that would be my go-to idea for you is start adding pace and try to shallow out that target to get the first serve effect here, okay? So I hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video. And if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses that Mark and I have put together, really detailed courses. I think you'll find those very helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well, and we'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lessons.